You're listening to The Morning Bowl with Bonley Johnson, Bonzo Bitburg, and Little T right here on WBAM Radio. Rock on. Good morning, WBAM Radio. Morning, Bonzo. Good morning. <clears throat> morning, Little T. Good morning. Pudding. Would you guys do this weekend anything fun? Because I didn't. I was fucking sick all weekend. <clears throat> Still not doing to that. To Ohio great. to see you guys. You guys. <laughs> Shut up! Yes, yeah, it's Pennsylvania slang. There, you guys. You guys. Eastern Pennsylvania, because if it's in Western Pennsylvania, it's Yens guys. Or or Yells. Yells Yels guys. Yep. Yeah. That's definitely Pittsburgh. Yinsburg, as they call it. <clears throat> so tell us about your trip. What time did you leave? Uh, what day? Nobody, you know, pretend nobody knows. Friday, <laughs> we left at 7 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> we took the Pennsylvania Turnpike all the way through. So we yeah. went from Morgantown. Oh, that's easy. Morgantown. And then we stopped at two rest stops. Pittsburgh, we didn't have a problem with, surprisingly. That's good. You must have had the timing just right, huh? We did. So we get into um, Ohio. And, of course, we go by Tappan Lake. And Mm -hmm. um, we stopped. (laughs) Well, first of all, when we went, Minnie Kay and Pat had to go to the bathroom so bad. So, like, where do we go? So Pat went into, like, Tappan Lake. I guess it was a boating dock or something. Did you pee in the lake or... Well, he, he thought the restrooms were open, <laughs> and they weren't. So I was like, oh, he went to that car. little rest area? That little uh, rest yeah, stop? I'm, I'm in the, <laughs> yeah, I'm in the car. I'm like, this ain't happening. I said, I know they're closed. I'm sitting in the car. I was like, oh, Well, be glad they're closed, because all they are is a fucking toilet seat with a hole in the ground. Yeah, it's, a, it's an outhouse. Yeah. I went, and people, it, it went by them. people hide right. in there and take pictures of your butt. Just want you to know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So People. they go down, they go down to the ramp to the lake and they're looking at, you know, at the water and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there and the weather was weird that day because it was like misty, like foggy um, slash. Yeah. The fog. That's the only thing we had a problem with is the, the fog was so thick that you can take a knife and cut it. <clears throat> yeah. You're it was coming terrible. right through that part, uh, the eastern side of Pittsburgh. Yeah. It was, it was bad. Well, I guess it'd be the western side of Pittsburgh, wouldn't it? So yeah, the western side of Pittsburgh, our eastern side, it gets fucking bad. I, I couldn't believe it. I like I was getting anxietyed up in the car. I'm like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> well, you got so, you got those three rivers all connect right there, and then all that fog rolls off of it, and it stays thick all the way into Ohio. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So he's like, well, let's go to this bait shop. I'm like, what the hell is a what bait shop? Like, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Well, he was right across the street. Is that the one master zones? Well, come to find out, it's the Lake Resort. Uh, Um, It's not master bait shop. (laughs) (laughs) Where you can uh, rent these cabins out. So he's like, he went into the store and Pat goes, is there bathrooms? The lady goes, yeah, right. She directed us. So we all went, right? Oh, thank God. Because I had to go, too. All three of you. All three of us had to go, yes. So we went and used the bathroom and Pat comes on. And of course he's, he's the social butterfly. So he's talking to the people and he's like, you can tell we're out of towners and like, yeah, where are you from? Listen, we're like, we're, listen, we're, we're Philly. You, you can describe Pat as many things, but a what? butterfly is not. He is. He's a social butterfly. He's more like a social iron butterfly, maybe. There you go. Or a social moth man. So we were in there <laughs> looking butterfly. at, you know, looking at the I was, me and Minnie Kay were looking at the stuff that they have in there because they have the souvenirs and stuff like that. And Minnie Kay wanted to buy some stuff, you know, from Ohio and stuff like that. And this was our first stop. So, of course, we found hoodies and we're like, oh, I could go for a hoodie. Of course. And so like that. And Pat's like, well, on our way back, you know, going home, we'll stop in. It's like, all right. So I'm like, well, let's see what kind of foods they have in Ohio. So I grabbed those chips, right? And I go up to the counter and Pat's talking and they're like, yep, something about, they're talking about the, the cabins up above. Mm-hmm. So she goes, well, my son owns them. She said, go up there and, um, you know, talk to him. 
So we went up there and the guy These was are the really new nice. ones across the road from Ray, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. And he's um so he says, Come on, I'll show you two of them. And I was like, I already know what they look like, but I want to see the inside because I was researching it on, you know, Google and stuff like that. So we went into the one and we're like, oh, this is really nice. And then we went into the second one. And this cabin is like as soon as you go in, it's like a queen size bed. And then you go into the kitchen. They have like an oven and stuff like that. And then let me think about this. There's um so right when ladder. you walk in the door, there's a bed. There is. That's yep. weird. There is. So then you, there's a ladder that goes up to like a loft, and there's two double size beds. And then if you, they have a downstairs, you go down to the downstairs. They have a TV, a couch. It turns so into a bed. The living area is actually underneath, not. Yes. Not yes. in the entrance level. Right. So. He goes, there's a bonus to this. And I'm like, I'm already hooked on it. I said, what's the bonus? He goes, there's a hot tub. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, there's a hot tub. So we're like, okay. He goes, it's out here on the deck. So you go out to the deck overviewing the lake, and the hot tub is right there on the deck. He goes, now these, the ones that he showed us, he goes, you can burn up. You know, there's a fire pit and stuff like that. But if you go further to the other cabins, you can't, you know, you don't have a fire pit. So it fits about, I think he said eight to 10 people. So I was like, all right, cool. So then we go, we get out of there. And they then don't we look go that big. To... They don't, but there's a lot in there. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been inside of them. I delivered the concrete to most of those places, right. most of those cabins, but I never, I never got past that phase of the building. So I have no idea what they're. Right. So yeah. then, um, I was like, well, let's go see if the hotel is ready. Because we got in there around, well, by the time we looked at the cabins, it was like getting close to two o'clock. So we made it within five and a half, maybe a little shorter time to get into Ohio. So like, we don't have to get checked into three, but let's see if a room is available, which it was. So we get into, we get into the hotel and we grab a uh, luggage dolly and Put the stuff in there, and Minnie K is driving us. <laughs> she didn't know how to 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 direct it. I'm like, oh my god! So we're trying to get into the elevator with this thing, and before the the luggage dolly gets into the elevator, Minnie K got stuck in the elevator <laughs> by herself. <laughs> the door shut, and she's like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? So just open the door. Just push, you know, open the, you know, push the button. So she pushed the button and we're standing there and we're laughing so bad. And Pat's like getting frustrated. He goes, don't you know how to ride this thing? Just put it in the damn elevator. Let's go. So we finally got it in there. We got it up to our room and stuff like that. I got situated. And then once we got situated, he's like, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go to Menards. Because we found out Menards is like two minutes away from us. Yeah, it's right down the street. Well, we don't have a Menards. Oh, we don't okay. have one. So we went in there. Count and yourself I said, lucky. I hate that place. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, but I mean, when we were in there the last time we came, it was an in and out. So we weren't, you know, we didn't really get to see it. So it was like, all right, let's go in. So we're like, we were all amazed with this because it's kind of like a Home Depot and a Lowe's all squished yeah. together. Yes. That's the best I can describe it. And a, and a big lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's big lots, <laughs> Lowe's, and, and Home Depot all rolled into one. Yes, yes. So I was looking around. I said to Pat, so we might have to come back to Ohio. I said, because when we remodel our kitchen, we'll come here because your stuff is cheaper. A lot cheaper than they, what we they, have here. Listen, if you're going to buy lumber and shit, it's not a bad place to go. Right. I, there's just something about that store that rubs me the wrong way. And I right. just, I, it's the way their doors are set up, the way you yeah, go in Yeah, it's their whole out. floor plan. It, the way everything's laid out. Well, in I wouldn't know. Terrible. You guys would know. But I, I, you see what I'm saying? I wouldn't know because of this is my first time in there. Mm -hmm. But we go back to the cabinets because he's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to go look at their cabinets. Well, you, the cabinets are even cheaper there. They have a decent selection too. I'll give them this. I'll, I'll give them credit where it's due. Like when you're looking for stuff like that, there's more of it. Right. More of a variety of things. Their lighting section is crazy. Yeah. You have to go upstairs and it. shit. But yes. Yes. So then he's like, we saw Christmas stuff out. We're like, we're going to go in the Christmas section and see <laughs> what they have. And they have this big ass, I think he's like six foot tall or maybe, maybe smaller. Cause I didn't get close up to it. And they have this dancing Santa. 
Kira's laughing about it. She's taking pictures of it. <laughs> we're goofing <laughs> off in the store, basically, all three right. of us. Were. Killing time. Right. So then um, Pat's like, well, I'm going to go see the drywall stuff, see what they have, you know, as supplies and stuff. Like, yeah, it's basically the same what we have at home. So he just went to look. He goes, what do you want to do? I said, oh, well, let's get out of here. So we go back to the hotel. And uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, no, we don't go back to the hotel. We actually went to Sugar Creek. We went to Amish country after that to show her where we were before. So we went to Dutch Valley. And she bought a couple of souvenirs there. And um, she bought candy there. I think she bought wax, wax bottles. Yeah, she bought yeah. wax bottles. She with the wax. little pop bottle looking yes. things with the yes. liquid yes. in it. Yeah. I said, Kira, we can get this at home. She goes, I don't care. I want some. <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's your, it's your money. You do what you want with it. So then we go there, and it was kind of busy because they were having their Christmas light. Um, the lighting of the tree or whatever. Yes, yes. So then I said, well. I said, I remember there was another gift shop here that had an upper level to it. Pat's like, yeah, it's right over there. I was like, all right. I said, well, I said, his back was starting to bother him at the time. I said, just go in the car. Me and Minnie Kay can, we'll, we'll be all right, you know, going in the store. I said, Good. he didn't know I'll be in there later. And I was like, all right. So we go look around and Minnie Kay's like, That's Ooh, dangerous. Ah. You could have got mugged by some Amish people. <laughs> he could. <laughs> <laughs> he could. He's like, bro, I said, we're oohing and on and all this stuff. And I've seen this all before. And I'm like, Go over there and stick those two up. I think they're from out of town. <laughs> so they probably got... have three or four dollars. <laughs> so I'm like looking for a quilt. I want a quilt so bad, like a homemade one. So I'm looking around, stuff like that. And I already know what they had because back in May, I was there. So Pat comes in and all that stuff. And uh, I'm standing, Minnie Kay's looking at something. And this guy at the counter goes, Hey, young lady, can I help you? With <laughs> and I'm like, young lady. I said, you're talking to Kira. He's like, no, I'm talking to you. I was like, oh. <laughs> He's like, no, we're just looking around. I said, he goes, okay. They were really friendly. What store so was this was like, again? It was, there's a gift shop right by the, um, it's in like, um, like Dutch, where Dutch Valley is. It's in that mallish kind of. Yeah, it's in that little, okay. the, right. little square thing there. Yeah. <clears throat> so we go up, we go upstairs and stuff. And we're looking around and we found lots of baby stuff. They even have a Sasquatch onesie. I almost, <laughs> I almost got it. I almost got it. Like, but you know how much they wanted for it? They wanted twenty dollars. Oh, I believe show. it. Yeah. I said You're, that's actually baby, cheap for them. I said this baby is only going to be in it for a couple months. It'll so probably like, she'd probably wear no. it one time. Exactly. So I was like, no. <laughs> and the thought was nice, but no, it ain't happening. So then we got out of there, and they're like, okay, let's go back to the hotel. Because by that time, Pat was getting like really, I, I'm i surprised we drove around. So we get back to the hotel. He was like, okay, what do you guys want for dinner? And we have everything there. We had Arby's. We had Texas Roadhouse. We had Denny's. We had all that there, right? We all agreed on Arby's. <laughs> Arby's. Yes. That was a mistake. So, <laughs> well, we wanted something fast, you know, and yeah. he didn't want to sit down to eat. And he just Which are, where were you guys hotel. at that there's an Arby's? You guys went to the new Philly Arby's there by the mall, by where your hotel was? Yeah. That yeah. one? Okay. I've yeah, never been yeah. to that one. I can't shit on it too hard. So we go, we go through the drive thru and we're ordering stuff and they're like $40. Like $40? Yeah. Arby's is pricey compared to regular fast food and all fast food's high right now. Well, ours is too, but it's like, we yeah, forgot we had Minnie crazy. Kay. Minnie, well, between me and Pat, we normally the ones that go to Arby's, but Minnie Kay was with, and she ordered extra stuff. And Pat got a shake, so he's like, "Okay, that adds up." Yeah, but for so another I, twenty bucks, you guys could have went to the Roadhouse. Road Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, he didn't want to sit there. I know, but he, he didn't want to sit, and I didn't either. I was getting tired. So then, while we're eating, like the, the Kira's like, "Let's go to Cody's house. Let's go to Cody's house. Let's go to Cody's house." <laughs> so I was like. I said, Pat's got to rest. I said, let him rest. And I said, and they're like, text him, text him, text him. I said, I'm not bothering any of these. No, I'm not bothering the men. No, 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 no. So what's Pat do? He calls Coney. So him and Coney are talking yeah. on the phone for, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, I was, was cleaning long. the garage, oh, getting you're... ready for the party. Put him yeah. on speaker. Yeah. So Coney's like, "You well, you should have came down. You should have came down. And Kira looks at me, and she goes, I told you. And I'm thinking, no, <laughs> and it's not happening. I just didn't want to bother both, you know. You can't Pat hide from a, from when your back hurts. You can't hide from. You got to lay down. Oh uh, yeah, it's the yeah. only thing you can do to feel better. 
Yeah. And so even that like, sometimes. Right. So we chilled for, in our hotel that night. Uh, Pat was watching Dune. He's watching the new the movie one? Dune. Yeah, there's a new Dune out. There's a, with the guy from the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He's in that as yeah, well. I don't know. I don't know Dune. as well, but yes. So we were watching that. And I while never they saw the new that, Charlie either. Our our football team is in uh, playoffs for the so district. So ours. They made it to the yes. uh, quarterfinals. Well, we're at we're at the finals. So well, I watched it Friday on YouTube while they were watching TV. Or maybe there. What, what's after the semifinals? Is the finals after the semifinals? Yes. Yeah. Then yeah. they're in the so finals because the they won their semi. They, go, they won their yeah. semifinal game too. So yes. So I watched that and stuff like that, and then I was like dozing off. I was like, it's time. It's time to go to bed. So then I didn't realize this. I was messing with the shades, like the window shades, right? Because <laughs> they have kind of like a see-through one, and then they have one that's really dark. I'm like, well, I don't want anybody looking into our freaking room. So I put the dark one down before I went to bed. So I woke up around 7.30. I'm thinking, why is it so freaking dark? Does not, Ohio do not, do, do they not have sun until later or what? <laughs> or what? I forgot I had the dark shade on. It was so dreary all weekend. Yeah, well, I pulled it up. I'm like, oh, well, there's daylight. Yeah. it was. It, there was a couple, like, was it Sunday? It was or Saturday. Whatever. I think it was Sunday that there was a little bit of sun that came out. It was nice for a little bit anyway. Yeah, so it, it was spritzing. So they have continental breakfast there. So we went down and got continental breakfast. And, of course, Pat wants pancakes. And the pan- pancake machine broke. Oh, geez. Yes. So I don't know what was going on. I can't keep track of Pat because he's all over the place in the hotel. He's talking to the women at the front desk and everything else. I'm like <laughs> He's doing his thing. So this lady comes out with a, a plate and a fork. And I was like, can I help you? She's like. Yeah, someone asked for pancakes, and I said, "Oh, that's my husband." I said, "He's." I said, "He'll he'll be back in." He went out for a cigarette. He'll be back in. So, next thing you know, I see her walking up to him, and she pats him like taps him on the shoulder, <laughs> and she's like all flirty with him. I'm like, "What the hell is this shit?" She goes, ah. the "Pancakes are made," and I'm like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> buttering up here, aren't we?" <laughs> he goes, "Oh, good, good." I mean, the no, service. That's not is what she said. There. Pat told me what she said. She said. Hey, Daddy, your flapjacks is ready. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. So we got bra- we got breakfast. It wasn't too bad. I mean, for a continental, you know, on the go breakfast, it wasn't bad at all. So, um. No, they try there. I think it's a decent little hotel. It's not. It, it it's nice. The hotel was nice. I mean, there wasn't much to it, but it, it was no, nice. Well, I mean, I mean, it's a hotel. Right. It's and not like it's a resort hotel. The people that worked there, I mean, as soon as we walked out of the room, hi, how are you? How's your day going? Or They were really friendly. So, I, yeah. oh, okay. So then um, after that, he's like, what do you want to do? And I was like, well, we need to hit the Super Walmart. <laughs> he goes, what for? I said, well, you need Icy Hot, and I need, I'm looking for a belt. And then I said, I think they have my Arizona green tea in cans there. If they have them at home. They have to have them here. So we went there, and we picked up stuff that we were supposed to get at home and i knew i didn't have time once we got home to pick it up so we got toilet paper and all that stuff you know there as well because it's cheaper at your place than it is at ours take advantage yeah so <clears throat> every penny counts i had to i had to laugh though because i'm not used to seeing beer and alcohol in a walmart i'm looking at it really? and like oh my god this is really pennsylvania must weird. be like really different it is they don't like sell that. beer anywhere Except for the beer, beer distributors. distributors. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I kept, Pat a, kept saying beer distributors. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean beer distributor? Yeah. Because we sell it everywhere. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> see, if you back it up a little bit for Friday night, he was looking for a beer thing. And he, he said, well, there's a drive through, you know, beer place you can go into. I was like, okay. I heard of them. I just never seen one. So he would get in there and it's his first time too. He gets in there, he's getting out of the car. He's like, Are you supposed to get out of the car or what? And the lady comes. <laughs> the lady comes get back goes, in your car now. <laughs> the lady comes and he goes, What can I help you with? He goes, Keystone Light 30 can. And she's like, Okay. So she took the credit card to her, to, you know, into the office. Uh-huh. That I'm kind of leery with because they're like, Okay, we're out of state. If anything happens to our card, we're screwed. So Pat's watching her and stuff like that. Comes back out. She goes, where would you like this? She goes, oh, in the back seat. 
So that's where she's stuck. And she's like, have a nice day. And I'm like, that, it was just odd. It was just weird for us. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed this. to get out. <clears throat> no. Yep. So it kind of reminded me of like you going through a car wash without the, you know, the spinners and everything else there. Yeah, That's what it like reminded me of. Yeah. yeah. So then. Yeah, we have but, drive throughs everywhere, so it's not unusual. To us, to us so, it yeah. is. You're right. So then um, after Walmart on Saturday, we went back and we hung out uh, at the hotel for a little bit. I don't even remember what the hell we were doing. Me and Kira were getting nice and everything else. We were screwing around in the hotel. And <laughs> at the hotel, just finding something to do. And then it was time to go to uh, the fish fry at Coney's. And as soon as we get there, as soon as we get there, man, Connor, woo, he comes up, he's right up and he tackles us. <laughs> I'm like, woo, that boy has force. He goes, he's like, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're here. Like, he was really excited. So That's that was good. awesome. Yeah. I felt terrible. Why? Because I didn't, you know how it goes, Bond. Yeah, when I'm when the fish fry, you're I have busy. to fit, I have yeah. to cook. Yeah, That's all busy. I do is cook. So I didn't get to spend much time with you guys. You came all this way, and I, that's why I was hoping you were there so they could hang out right. with you. And have somebody <clears throat> to hang out with. Uh, it's okay. It's but, okay. Yeah. it's all right. I understood. I understood. Well, my giant but... headed brother was there, so yeah, sure I introduced him to him, and then they <laughs> hung out with him. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, we brought food from Pennsylvania for for. Tony and his wife and Connor. Did you even eat any of that stuff? Oh, heck no, I haven't had a chance to do anything. I've been so busy with that damn cleaning up afterwards is a day. And then yeah, because we bought last the... night we hung all the rest of the metal on the ceiling in the big part of the uh, garage. But you got yeah, it all done? Bought... The yeah, the big part I did last night. Yep. Yeah, but we bought I wanna you... I want you to tell me about it. <clears throat> when we're tell done you about with, what? Uh, her trip. How you did it, because I want to know how you did it. Okay. But go ahead with but, your trip. Um, we bought them. You didn't get them. And I'm sorry. I apologize. But we got Coney and his wife chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> My wife has <laughs> gone nuts on those things. I knew she would. I knew she would. <laughs> so I'm like, like, Jesus Christ, you're going to eat the whole tub in one day or what? <laughs> <laughs> but they you got to save anybody else. So they got the, they got get the a belly pulse. ache. They got the kibasa. They got the goods, uh, potato chips. You also got a treat soda. Did you try that yet? The what? A treat soda. The I cherry. Got soda. Yeah, the black cherry. Yeah, my my son had the whole thing almost gone. I had to get. <laughs> I got a drink of it when I got in that. <laughs> <clears throat> Him and one of his buddies were down in it that mm. night. I guess Dana was saying that how they were drinking it. Mm. <laughs> so it was a hit. <laughs> yeah. Good. So, Pat yeah, was so talking he, about one of the kids. He, I think it was Austin. He said, whoever it was with the fishing person. So he said, I like the way he talks. It had to be Austin. Yeah, that's because he, he's got the. I don't oh, know I know it was Austin because he was talking about the Chubb thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. My but yeah, so much. I like Connor's like, come here, come on. You know, he took us in the house and he was showing us around the house and he goes, this is my spot. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we heard about your spot yeah. <laughs> his, his where he gets to yeah. hang out and stuff like that. Yeah. So then I guess I met, is it Dana's mom? Probably Maria. She's tiny little thing. Yeah. She yeah. goes, what? She goes, where are you from? And we're like, Pennsylvania. She goes, you drove all the way out here. <laughs> and we're like, yeah. Like, yeah, she we, goes, we drove five and, goes, and a half like, hours. Cause we heard there goes, was good what? fish. Yeah, she goes, what? She goes, what do you got here? And I tell her all the good. And she goes, oh, she's like, she was really interested. <laughs> so, but yeah, so then we went out to the garage and I'm sitting there. Minnie Kay's with me and Pat shooting the shit with God knows who. I don't know who the hell he was talking to. He was talking to a lot of people. So I, Kira, Minnie Kay. I know he was sitting on the corner out there smoking with somebody. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it might have been John I, Fulton. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. John? Oh. I didn't know John. Smoke but Minnie, Minnie Kay funny. comes in and she goes, um, first thing she goes is, I asked for more. Oh, here's the thing. Minnie Kay doesn't like fish until now. Okay. Until now. Until now. Yes. Because she's like, she, she was willing to try a piece and she goes, oh my God, now I like fish. So she must have went out there again and I was sitting at the table by myself, you know, and she'd come in and back, back and forth. And she goes, some lady tapped me on the shoulder and says, there's more fish in the, in the garage. And we're like, okay. <laughs> she goes, I don't know who it was. Well, here to come and find out, they sat with us. Dana must be, Dana must work with her. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not sure who it is. I don't know. I can't. There's names flying all over the place. I can't remember. There's a lot of people there. So uh, she sat down with us. The kid goes, that's the lady that tapped me on the shoulder. She goes, I was. And stuff like that. So we got talking. They asked where we were and stuff like that. And um, Pat finally comes in and sits down to eat. And next thing that we saw, you coming over. And he, you start bringing this guy over. And I knew exactly who it was because he was sitting across from me. I said, God, this looks like Tom. This looks like <laughs> Tom's brother. And, he, and I was like, Pat's like, I think it is. And I think, and, and Kira goes, how do you know? I said, the eyes. They both have the beady eyes. eyes. Are, yeah. yeah. So beady little he, eyes. <laughs> he like criminals. comes over and he introduced me. Like, <laughs> he's like, okay, so how you, like we had to tell many people, like how we were connected to like, all this like why we're here at the fish fry and i was like well coney's friend tom you know they're good friends and i'm friends with tom and then we met coney and back in maine blah 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 blah. so yeah but your brother is a hoot <laughs> let me tell he's you something. <laughs> he's something <laughs> but he's like he's like yeah I, i'm tom's dad or something like that or yeah he said i'm tom's right. dad i'm like what <clears throat> i inter always introduce him as my dad because it pisses him off and he I always introduces he everybody. Oh, yeah, he's older than me. I hate to say this, but he looks younger than you. I hate to say it, but he does. <laughs> I, and what, what, I said something it, to the, him. Was uh, it the bald head or the... Uh... He had a hat on. <laughs> he had a hat on. Or is it the dyed but, beard? Huh? <laughs> the dyed the, beard. The dyed beard or the bald head? What gave it away? What made him look younger? <clears throat> I I don't know. I just, it's just the whole appearance all together. I mean, he had a baseball hat on and stuff like that. So, and I told him something, and I'm not going to tell you what I said to him, but if you ever see him, they ask. Do you ask him why he's wearing I'm... his wife's jeans? No. Or his, or his grandkid grand grand shirt. t shirt. Really? No. <laughs> he just are. dresses in tight clothes and he wears his jeans that got the design on the pockets. I wasn't really paying attention to fucking he... girls' pants. I don't care what anybody says. It's uh, hard to look tough in your sister's pants. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, so we we got shooting the shit. Actually, he was he was talking to Pat. Like him and Pat are like two people. Oh, in the those two. I guarantee. You, I already know what they were talking about. Yeah. Those so I was like, oh, yeah. oh, I was like, oh boy, here we go. Here, it was here definitely we go. politics. Oh, well, not until the very end. Not until the not very. Not until the very end. Right. So, uh, um, the food was excellent. There's one thing that I liked, and I, sh I was going to say, who who made it? Because I want the recipe. It's you like tell a me what it is. No. It's like a vegetable kind of pizza on a crust. Veggie broccoli. pizza. Oh, my God. That yeah. was delicious. I was like, do you know you're eating vegetables? I said, I know. <laughs> Lori's goulash wasn't there, was it? No, she was yeah. sick. She didn't come. That's too bad. You guys would have loved that. But the food, the food, all the people there were were nice. You don't realize the to. years and the number of recipes that batter has gone through to get to the point where it is today. It's taken, it's taken a long time to get that good. Oh my god! I was like, the type I didn't even heaven. change the type of oil we used to. Yeah, yeah, everything's changed one time or another to get where it is now, and it's fucking perfect now. It's the it best was, fish you ever have. We all said it. It was. Excellent. Excellent. So um we were about to leave and um that's when we called you. Mm -hmm. Pat called you. And then Pat's like, what do you say? They got your daddy on the phone here or <laughs> And he shows your brother. And you rolled your eyes like, oh God. <laughs> He's like your younger brother, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah. So He's like, they where's your down. shirt at? I said, it's in the bedroom else. with my pants. <laughs> That's why you don't there call was, me on video. <laughs> there was somebody else, though, with him that <clears throat> some relation is in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, Do you remember who that was, Coney? Ryan is who his was grandson. I think, he, I, that's it. That's it, yes. He's relatives out his in dad, Allentown. His dad has relatives in PA. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he was he was talking about the area and stuff like that. And we're like, well, Pat works right, right where we where you're talking. Like we knew exactly what he was, you know, he was talking about. And they were making fun of our accent. I said, like, I don't know where. I don't think I have an accent, but you okay, do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. 
I'm like, okay. Just so then, the water in the uh, used guys is, is enough. Water. There's, there's. <laughs> used yeah, water. Water. Not water. I can't even listen. Say that. That we have like... one too. We just don't realize. Everybody you, has yeah. one. If you listen to Coney say milk and pillow, that's all you have to know. <laughs> then you'll hear the Tuscross County accent. Pillow. And it's milk. pillow. <laughs> and milk. It says milk with an milk. E. <laughs> uh, see, I wouldn't, see, I didn't catch up on that stuff. I don't, it doesn't. But yeah, so they were, everybody was just surprised of how far we drove just for this fish fry. And said, well, it's not only for the fish fry. We, you know, we want to see, explore. The, that's basically what we're doing as well. So then we called you and then we went to your house and saw the little missus mm -hmm, baby j she, oh she's so she's so cute <laughs> yeah when she's asleep yeah. she's adorable <laughs> well you had her so in peaceful. your arms and on the chair and you're like do you want to take her do you want to take her and i'm thinking she's sleeping so peacefully i'm like no and you're like no have her and then she was getting a little she was crying a little bit and i was like i had the magic touch she was sleeping for what a half an hour or yeah, so. Yeah, she does pretty good. She likes to be cuddled, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> she but still hasn't her. taken a, her binky yet, but uh, you know, I, I really don't want her to anyway, because you know mm -hmm. how hard it is I to get them that. off of it. Yeah, it's yeah. a fucking nightmare. That right. thing's a bitch. All right. So, what was so, your favorite part of the trip? I knew you were going to ask me. I think just about everything. There is, I, I. Like I said, we had an amazing time. What about for... Kira? What was her favorite she... part? Everything. Everything. She 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 kept on blabbing like the whole time. Like she was like, she enjoyed it and everything else. She, well, she kind of knew went... she was going to. She she was looking forward to the trip. That's why I was disappointed oh, that she, I had uh... ended up getting sick because I wanted to see everybody and I wanted to, first and foremost the fish because mm -hmm. we only get it once or twice a year. <clears throat> I should have brought some. I wasn't thinking though. I should have took them. It's not the same plate. as eating it right out of the fryer, man. It <laughs> isn't. I, yeah, I understand that, but it's just, the, just you know, it's still good leftover. But yeah, man. But she told me, Minnie K. I'm supposed to say she said hello to both of you. <laughs> but this hello. morning. Yeah, before she left. But she told me she goes, Tom doesn't. I didn't. Tom's different in person than you know seen you on video and i said how is that i said you're probably gonna say the same damn thing <laughs> i did and he goes he's got skinny ass legs <laughs> I do <have> skinny. <laughs> his legs are so skinny Chopsticks. and i was like yeah and he goes and she even said it like you look broader on video than you do in person she said the same exact thing i did i don't same know exact thing. i look fatter or what <laughs> short and fat what on video? Yeah, I don't want to say fat, but you look your your shoulders look broader on video. Mm. Yeah, she said the same thing, and I was like, "You hey. look punier in person." <laughs> it's my legs; they are small. <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, Tom, Tom, Uncle Tom's legs are really skinny chicken legs." That's what she <laughs> it happened when I when I got sick. My legs just went away. Yeah, and they never yeah. came back. So I said, "Well, but the rest I of said, me came back." <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I know you, ha I didn't, I said, I know you didn't see Barkley, but did you like kind of picture for what we were trying to explain to her? And she's like, yeah, exactly. I said, okay. She's like, she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so she enjoyed herself. Like I said, she, she didn't want to come home, but on our way coming home, your gas is also cheaper. It's under $3. Ours is $3.30. Yeah. For now. Yours is, yours is 2 90 something. Yeah, for now. It'll it'll yeah. be up by the end of the week. Yeah. So now World Pat, War Three just started, so everybody <laughs> be paying way more for gas. We went to sheets and um I'm I'm sitting in the car, stuff like that. And here Minnie K goes, Are you seeing what Pat's doing while he's pumping that? No, he's dancing while he's pumping gas, like dancing to the music that they're playing in sheets. So I was like, oh my God, <laughs> whatever. So she goes, This is the biggest thing that we heard from her. She goes, Wait a second, they have seagulls in Ohio. Mm. And we're like, Yeah. Yeah. They're like, Anywhere there's a landfill. All, they're flying all over the place. And he goes, No, wait, seagulls only belong in the shore. He goes, She goes, What are they doing in Ohio? She's like, She took video of <laughs> Anywhere there's a landfill, there's seagulls. I was like, hello, they have water surrounding them. I was like, there's going to be seagulls. <laughs> yeah, there's there's plenty of water. But it's the landfills is where they flock. 
All right. Yeah, we but have we got... some big ones in the area. Yeah, but before we left, we went to the um, where else did we go? Oh, we oh we went Saturday to as well. We went to see the the world's largest cuckoo clock. <laughs> the fucking thing. Exciting. To use, like to you, boom, to you guys, boom. you think it's like, dumb, <laughs> but from out of towners, we're like, oh, this is pretty damn cool. Listen, there are but... fucking people flock to that stupid thing. I, I, I get don't it. get it either. You, I remember hearing like about state. it. I'm like, what? Like you, it's, we have you're the, we, familiar it, back with then it. when we were kids. It was the second biggest cuckoo clock in the world. There was a bigger one, but it's gone now. So now it's the biggest. But but it, I was like, I want to go see this thing, and then I went and saw. It. I was like, yeah, you're expecting something as big as a friggin' giant building or something. Yeah, that's it's like <laughs> it's the size of a Volkswagen. Yeah. It was different. Let's just put it that way. But it anyways, is different. I, I'll give them credit for that. I but. got homemade Buckeyes there. And they are delicious. Sugar Creek has a lot to offer. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. It, it's it's one hundred percent because I'm local to it. I, it just drives me right. crazy. Right, and it's I think it's all overpriced junk. Right. But there's this one store that I fell in love with, and I it's called I think it's called Secret Gardens. I think that's what Kira said. Yeah, that's what she called it. I don't. I've never heard of it. I don't go into those oh, shops, so I have no idea. Dana, we went there before. It's my type of shop. It has like the mystical creatures, the the wizard stuff. Oh, I didn't know they had Bigfoot the... stuff. Now I'm gonna go. Yes, yes. They have all this unique stuff that you would never think. That's my kind of shop. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if I had the time, I would be in there for like an hour or two. But that's where Minnie Kate got her dream catcher. She got one of those. So I was like, I could I could be in this store forever. Like I was looking for crystals because they sell crystals in there as well. But it's like it's too big of a shop for me to actually go and, you know, rummaging through it. Right. And see what's there. <clears throat> it's, it's, there it's so crammed full of stuff you can't even so it's comprehend like, it's what like you're a, looking at. The right. Amish Ollies or what? Uh no, it's just no. a big giant like crafts all you can think of anything you can think of it's in there and it's but, just yeah. piled full of shit but that's how yeah. ollie's is everything's stacked on top but of it's itself it's not like a like a department store yeah. it's like an actual <clears throat> craft place yeah, I'll, I'll, ship, I'll put it and in here dana bought a metal dragonfly for the porch decoration one year when we were in there yeah, she's into those dragonflies. There you go. Yeah, I put I put pictures in there. But yeah, it's like all this stuff, like all this fairy tale stuff and all this. I, I was like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. <laughs> but yeah, all this knickknack stuff and everything else. So that was pretty cool. I, I get I'll... it. I get it. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's the whole shopping thing and <clears throat> that that is Sugar Creek's appeal. So then uh, on our way home, I'm trying to think if there's anything like on our way home. I, it wasn't that bad either. Uh, Pittsburgh, we were like in and out. We're like, holy crap, this is like amazing. that <laughs> You know, and we did a couple of stops. It's and... nice. Pittsburgh's nice to look at if you ain't got to deal with the traffic while you're going through it. Right. Because right. there's, there's some cool old stuff to look at, you know. But before we went, before we went through Tappan Lake. Oh my God, the fog the fog was thicker than when mm -hmm. we went. It was worse. Yeah, the the river and, and I was the lake both really, put it off bad. I was getting anxiety up so bad. And I knew <laughs> I was getting Patrick anxiety up. And he's like, what's the matter? What's the matter? And I'm like, and I said for I said, you just let me know when the fog ends. I had to put my head down because I was getting anxiety up through it. So uh I was like, you got I said, just let me know when it all you, clears uh, out. Did you put it in Pat's lap or ah. no. <laughs> Shut up. Let me put my head here. I swear it's anxiety. <laughs> You're terrible. Now stop. How long did it last? That, Usually it lasts all the way through the lake. No, the lake was actually pretty better. Yeah. It was back. So it's just river yeah. fog. Yeah. Yeah, I warned you guys. Terrible. Yeah, but the last time we went there, it wasn't like that. But yet we're in another season now. It's now's fog season, yeah. Spring and fall. When so you got like, a you know, a big differential between the land and the water temperature. Or the it, air and the water temperature. I, I tell I, that I was getting panicky with. And I usually don't get panicky going through the tunnels. And this time I did. 
Like I was like yeah. holding my breath through it. Last time I didn't. So I don't know what was different. I don't know if it was because it was like, it was not sunny out. It was all cloudy. All It wasn't, you know, see what I'm saying? But when we got, of course, the day that we leave, it, it was sunny and nice. I'm like, it's shit. You know, that, that's how it is for us. But I don't know, trip went, trip went well. We had to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get a cream filled donut. And Pat had to get a, I think he got a Boston cream. You didn't get no Dunkin' Dots? That was a match in the car. Huh? You didn't get no Dunkin' Dots? No. Little donut holes. They're good. And of course, Kira had to get Slurpees every stop that we went. She had to get a Slurpee. <laughs> okay. But Pat's eating this cream filled donut. And the next thing you know, he has custard all down his beard. Ah. While he's driving. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And because it was heavy. You had it all in your hair. Heavy. And he had it all down his beard. Yeah. So custard. I was like, he's like, is there a napkin? Like, can you wipe me off? So I'm trying to wipe him off, you know, <laughs> while he's driving. But the, b- before that, I think before we even left, like, to go out of Ohio, okay, we had two GPSs. We had we used Waze, mm-hmm. which is W A Y Z. The Ghostbusters and Waze thing. That yeah. was that was awesome. Yeah, we used <clears> the <throat> Ghostbusters, and our car was a Ghostbuster, and all it told us all where all the ghosts were, and all the cops were, and everything else, and you got points for it and everything else. Well, I tried to get it hooked up, coming. You know, to go home, and it was it kept on telling me it's offline. So I was like, I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Hmm. So I went to regular Google Maps. So his past like this has been talking. This is you know. So I was like, all right. So I'll put Google Maps on. So he's driving, not even two minutes down the road, and both of them are talking at the same time. I'm like, oh my god. He's like, I'm going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going freaking nuts here. He said, you gotta shut one of them off. I'm trying. It was Ray, right? Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, Ray Stance. Yeah, Ray yeah. Stance. And then we had the Google girl talking at the same time and he's mm. like this is driving me freaking nuts so he's like, <clears throat> so I, like, I, I sent can't. her to australia i don't know why oh really yeah give her the australian accent the, the apple maps or google so whatever it took me it like five minutes to figure out how to turn the one off the ways one off mm-hmm <laughs> but like, can you imagine we were trying to drive through like close to Pittsburgh and this is what we're getting? <laughs> yeah, because you like, probably hey, have a turn every two minutes. Terrible. Ter- it was terrible timing. Terrible timing when this was all going on. But yeah, we got home in a decent time. If we didn't do the, the third stop for our donut, we would have made it in record time. A little bit, maybe five minutes over five hours. That's good. So you guys didn't stop and piss too often then? Twice. That's the only way to get make time is to keep your doors closed. If your doors go open for any reason, doesn't matter if it's peeing or yeah, I or used eating. to when when we go on vacation, I'm like, we ain't stopping unless we need gas. So pee now, but now that I'm now, old and my <laughs> things have changed, all, it's like half hour down the road. Okay, we got to stop and pee. Well, so on the way home, there's no making good time on my trips anymore. Right. Yeah, Bonzo well, in the, the car is home. like having a ten year old girl in the car with you. <laughs> well, Minnie K, Mini K goes, when when are we going to the next rest stop? She goes, because I go to the bath, I gotta go to the bath and pass it. I needed to go ten minutes ago, and there's no rest stop anywhere. So we were going for like I I want to say fifty miles plus till they actually found a plaza to <clears> get into, <throat> and every bump that they were hitting, I hear here <laughs> going at the same time. Oh. Oh, I'm like, I'm sitting here laughing about it because I don't have to go. And I'm thinking, this is strange. I'm the one that has to usually have to go. And you two are like holding it in. Now you're the truck driver in the group. Yeah. I got to so hold finally, it. They finally, they get to the rest stop. I said, you know, I better go because after like 50 some miles of not finding anything, I said, I think I need to go just in case. But yeah. Other than that, it was, it was smooth sailing. Like I said to Coney, if you ever, you know, when you have this again, let us know in advance. We'll stay longer and make a trip of it because we had ourselves a fantastic time. I'm glad everybody you was guys really nice. Enough, you knew you could talk to people at least. I didn't. I didn't want you guys just sitting in there. And, well, you well know. Minnie Kay comes to me and she taps me on the shoulder and she goes, "Coney says, if I if I was being shy, not talking to people, and I was like, tell him yes." <laughs> <clears throat> tell him yes until you until Tom's brother came up. Then I started really chatting. <laughs> you can't not talk to him. I know he's a blabber. Yeah, yep. But it was awesome. Like I said, well, he's like, we're oh, gonna, she has we're gonna do this trip again. Boobs. I'm gonna go talk to her. <laughs> so the 
That's how the he fish is. fry. It's a fucking. It's just a lot of prep before and after. Well, I even bet. after, but uh, Dana's like, "How much fish should I get out?" And I'm like, "Everything," because we were we were expecting yeah, fifty some people. How many did you? Well, about that. Well, that's what I'm gonna get to, but. Uh, we got. I told her. I said, "Get whatever we got out." I said, "And I'll just start having to, I'll start have to fish and get some fish back in the freezer." But I even borrowed two bags off, or was it three bags? I even got uh, three bags off of my uncle, and I was worried we didn't have enough fish, but we did. But yeah, when when I do when I do these fish fires, I don't get to mingle like Dana does. You know, I'm I'm stuck right there at the fryer the whole time until right. fish is cooked up, and then I get to, and that's usually everybody. It's dwindling down by the time I'm getting to socialize. Yeah, you apologized to me, and I said, I I know, I understand completely. It was just, it was it it was nice to be there, and you know, your whole family is nice, and and your friends that we got to meet. Yeah. Yeah, we felt. Let's put this way: we we felt like, like we were at home. Well, that's good. I'm glad so, to hear that. Yeah. But the only the only upside of frying the fish is you get to eat it right out of the fryer, oh, yeah. fresh as fuck. So, and most of the guys like Tom and Mike and whoever <laughs> they all they all Just huddle hover. around the fish fry. <laughs> it's a the fish thing. fryer and wait for it. To well, that come. yeah. I guess there was a line. Because the fish wasn't cooking fast enough. So yeah. there was like oh. a huge line with people waiting for the fish and they kept coming out. Is the fish ready? Yet? I'm got, yeah, I can't cook it any faster than it's cooking. I mm. mean, what do you want? So yeah, that, so I walk in, I, I get some fish done and then I went in to di get something. I don't remember what I was getting, but I went into the building and this was our building is, well, the area that we had people sitting in is, uh, 30 by 40. So I was like, man, this is going to be awesome. It's nice and roomy. And I was afraid we didn't have enough chairs and tables because we had to go borrow some off your brother. And my uncle brought some. And I'm like, man, I don't know if we got enough. So I counted them. We had 52 chairs. I'm like, oh, that's enough. Plus, we had all the, the camping chairs out along the walls right. and other chairs. So there was probably, I don't know, I'm guessing... 60 70 chairs probably and i walk in there and there's people standing in the corners eating i'm like what the hell's going on i'm like where who are all these people and i didn't even recognize some of the people i'm like dana who's those people over there in the corner and she's like oh that's a lady i work with and her husband <laughs> i'm like oh okay yeah so we sat down the other night after the party and we started writing everybody's name down like, cause we couldn't, rem you know, we wanted to figure out how many people we had. I told, I sent Austin in earlier and I said, give me a head count. Just let me see. You know, he's like, oh, there's 60 some people there. I'm like, okay, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. So we wrote all the names down and then we wrote a side list on the people we invited that didn't show up. There was 86 people there. And if I would, if everybody would have showed up, there would have been 112 people there. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, do you remember we used to break it up into two parties? Yeah, we used to. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'd do like a family type one, more family than anything. But I always invited my main friends like Tom and Mike. and uh -huh, yeah. yeah, we got both. <laughs> you guys got both. <laughs> we got both. And then we'd do like a family fish fry, and then we'd do like a friend's fish fry because... And I okay. might have to do that again because it's crazy. Well, I mean, you got way there. more room now, but... Yeah, but it was still... it was packed. I couldn't believe it. I was well. You gained three other people, so there you go. <laughs> but that and fish. Since is... I'm an uncle, you got to come to both of them then. Mm -hmm. That fish is so fucking good. It and is. I it's just mini listen. Mini Pat, Pat walked up it. to me. Pat came into the frying. We had the fryer set out underneath the awning. You know, Tom, the new awning that's right below the apartment. Okay. Yeah. We had it set up in there, and I had. uh um 
tarps hanging off of just made me a little room in case it was real so cold windy the, or anything yeah yeah it was windy and the fryer <laughs> wouldn't stay hot i just kind of made a little room there we had me. that happen one year yeah so pat comes in he's like you got to get me the recipe to this fish i'm like yeah you want it huh? and i'm like <laughs> i don't give it out i'm like no i'll tell you what it is it's not that big a i deal. don't think he remembered it though tell you i didn't it. even tell him because he didn't I was going to tell him how to do it, but you can get everything at Walmart. Yeah, everything's easy to get. Mm-hmm. Well, Walmart don't carry that mixture anymore. They don't. No. Oh fuck Walmart then. Where do but, you get it? Uh, at? Like Bueller's? I got something? it at uh, where was it? Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle. Yeah, I was. I wanted six boxes. I bought the. La- they had four left. I wonder if you can go directly to McCormick and get it. Probably. Cause Cause your Walmart, so your Walmart doesn't carry it at all. No, they That's don't carry saying. it at all. What? It, okay, well then, maybe I can search for it. Maybe our Walmart does. I don't know. It's McCormick beer batter is what the batter is that I use. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll look. Just generic as fuck, but it is so perfect. Okay. I have you. What you do is you you get beer. What I like a like a regular beer or even a little bit darker. Something that's got like a little kick to it, not like a light beer or anything. And then I open it and let it get room temperature. Okay. And then you put like a shit ton of pepper in the batter. Pepper. And you put, and I like my batter. I, when I whisk it, <laughs> I pour the bottle. It usually takes a little bit more than a bottle of beer for one box of batter. Yeah. I, I mix it. And then when I pick my uh, whisker up, if it's like, clopping on there i don't i may put more beer in it. it's got to be kind of running off you don't want a real thick thick batter so there's a little bit of a technique to it but i mean there once is, you get because if, it, if it, it gets too thick then the then it gets too bready and yeah it, and it yeah it has to be just right but but the trick is <laughs> the prep of the fish that's the trick clean all your fish real good and then you put it in water in the fridge with a bunch of lemon juice, like lemon concentrate, mm-hmm. put lemon in it and let it soak for two days, two, three days. And then I put it in a Ziploc freezer bag and put the, put fresh water and lemon juice in the freezer bag and freeze it in that mixture. Mm. And that's what, that's what makes the fish. I'm listening, have a but fish. you're probably going to have to repeat this to Patrick. <laughs> That's fine. Well, it's on, it'll be on the uh, podcast. <laughs> you can yeah. Go back to the podcast and write That's it true. in. Fast forward to the 8.52 a.m. mark. <laughs> but, yeah, I was just... The, 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 the people that were there, I was just blown away. I was like, holy cow, I didn't think we'd have this many people. Because we, we sat down the night well, be- or the day before and was trying to figure out, okay, who's coming, who's not coming. And right. we kind of got a, like a 50-something mark, but it was way more than that. I can tell you what it was. You it's because right it's time. cold and there's no, yeah, it's nobody's you got anything right going on. Yeah. There's no graduation That's what I told parties. Dana. There's no fucking holidays. Yep. I told you know. Dana, I was like, it's it's winter now. There's no sports going on. There's no, I mean, there's there some is, little. but it's, yeah. But it's not like it is. There's nothing going on. There's no, yeah, there's no, no graduation parties going on. There's no, yeah. usually people don't plan for stuff this time of year. So that's why everybody showed up. It was nice. Oh, it was really I'm glad nice. you guys had a good time without me. <laughs> I was like, canceled. are you serious? He's sick. Come on. <clears throat> I couldn't even get out of bed Friday. It kicked the shit out of me. <clears throat> and then Saturday, I was like, eh. I was high on uh, Sudafed when uh, little T and her family showed up. Got me through it. But as soon as you guys left, I was fading again. I I went right to bed. That was funny, though, because Barkley never met my daughter. And she goes, and she she goes, wait, Minnie Kay, she's taller than you. Yeah, she is tall. (laughs) I was expecting her to be small or something. Tell her I said that I I was kind of shocked at how skinny her legs were. (laughs) (laughs) I 
said we call her that because she actually I said that's how I looked when I was her age. Yeah. Exactly like her. Yeah. Tall and thin like that. Hmm? Tall and thin like that. Yeah. Yep. Not tall. I wasn't I'm not as tall as her. She's no. about she's about an inch or two taller than me. Yeah. She looks like she's more than that. It looks more more like three plus. She's not th- well, she had shoes that. on. She had her shoes on. <laughs> Take their shoes off, and that's a difference. Must yeah. be because she looked, yeah, she looked more than a couple inches taller than you. She look. I think she looks older than her age too, which is kind of scary. <laughs> was it warm in the garage? Because I was freaking out that it was going to be too cold. It was. It was nice. It was very comfortable. Yeah. I oh, actually had to get out of it because I was I was getting warm, but I, then yeah. I was getting cold. I was like, all right, let's go back in the. Did you have no, the big door I down? thought it was comfortable. Yeah, I had the big door down, and uh, I had a little that propane wall heater that I have. Mm-hmm. I had it hooked up in there. And yeah, I, I meant I, I was going to bring your mystery heater with me, but then I got sick and forgot all about it. But uh, I had I was trying to get the ceiling done because I knew that would hold some of the heat in there. But oh, it I didn't, know you're all it fucking didn't happen. up about it. It didn't happen. I was but looking at the I pictures had all the that plastic Tisha sent me. <laughs> What's that? I was looking at the pictures to see how far you made it. Tisha sent me pictures. Oh yeah. And I was like, well, he didn't get very far, but you got some of it up by then. But yeah. Like I don't that. know how the fuck you did it. Twenty foot spans like that, with that little tiny lift. It was I, a little rough, but yesterday I had me, my uncle, your brother, and uh, John Fulton here helping me put that up. So we had four guys, and we had two lifts. So, oh, you had two lifts. Yeah, and that made it way easier. Yeah, that's that's the t- that's the ticket. I couldn't. Ours is broke. I, I was going to get it for you, and it's broke. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I actually, I actually called the guy that's doing my insulation. He's the one that gave me the first one, and I'm like, he wanted it. He wanted me to try to get it done this week so he could come in next week and do mm-hmm. the insulation. And I'm like, uh, I texted him. Uh, what was it? Thursday? Yeah, it was Thursday, or it might have been Friday. One of those two days, I texted him. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't know if this is going to happen next week. I said because. With one lift, I'm having a hell of a time. And I said, you wouldn't happen to have a second lift, would you? And he's like, yeah, I do. I can bring it by. No so shit. he brought it by Saturday morning. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I started putting it up. And and then after the party, we just went to it that morning and got it all done last night around 6. Good. So now I just got to get the... Uh, apartment roof or ceiling put in i'm gonna start on that i was gonna start on it today but i, I ain't got too much well, stuff if in you wait shoe. till uh tomorrow wednesday i can help you yeah tomorrow I'm <clears> definitely <throat> on it. but today i gotta get some stuff caught up here in the show i gotta go get my hearing aids today i think it's either today or tomorrow i can't they never call me to confirm my appointment mm. but i thought they told me the 18th but they told me while they sent me the message while the baby was being born. It was the same day because I had to cancel my appointment that day. I'll just call them and say, hey, what day? Well, they don't know it until 1030. And it takes, and I think the appointment's at 11. It takes me an hour to get there. Oh. So we're we're going to skedaddle as soon as we're done here and head up there. And then I'm just going to take her to Chick-fil-A for lunch. Even if there's mm-hmm. no appointment, we'll just make it a trip for Chick-fil-A. Make and, a tri- yeah. At least get out of the house, you know? Yeah. I'm sure she needs to. <laughs> I'm, you know, sure, she's, I'm sure she's watching the baby. I'm sure Barkley was. Uh, oh, we'll take the baby with us. Oh, you're like, taking her. Oh, there's adults here. <laughs> <laughs> with you having a kid, that's how I was when I first, you know, when you have your baby. Well, I mean, you, there, you have to understand. House, like she works uh, twelve hours a day every day. Yeah, uh, yeah. And now she's yeah. not working. Yeah. And I think it's driving her crazy. Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah. yeah. And I think she's getting anxiety from it. Yeah, well, I, like I her can body's see that like, hey, I gotta do even something. Watch, even when I watch the little man for like eight hours, it's like you have to, I have to keep him, you know, content, stuff like that. I'm like, and sitting here at one place or roaming, and I think, I, I'm like, I'm getting, not, I don't want to say anxiety, but it's like, it's like, okay, what, I need to be doing something. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, yeah, because there's probably like, downtime, like, you know, here yeah. and there. Yeah. Where so sane people like, would sleep. Mm-hmm. I tried to give her a nap this morning. Before I got, I got up a little early and took the baby because I think she was up all night. I know she was up a couple times, but man, 
That's why I don't like her sleeping during the day, man. Fuck that. Wake her up. Slap her around a little bit. Get up. Walk around, kid. <laughs> You're going to tucker yourself out before tonight. No, I don't know. You do what you got to really do. Cute, though. She's still she's a I cutie. Mean, she's, t- she'll be three weeks tomorrow, so she's still a baby, 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 baby. Okay. Like newborn. Yeah, me and Dan were talking about her the other day. She's like, you know how some babies are, you know, they're not very... They look like potatoes. They're they're ugly when they're born. I stuff. think but they she all said she, Even, she's I, I can't beautiful. She, she is like, beautiful. She is. Alex was a cute baby too. I said that. Thank God. But it's because he had like Barkley. he had a full head of hair. Yeah, she definitely looks like Barkley. Yeah. She doesn't look like me at all. She's got my fingers and my lobes. toes and my earlobes. Because she got yeah. your earlobes. Yes. Yeah. She has, she has Bailey's ears with my earlobes. Mm-hmm. And that the size of her ears are mine too because Bailey has tiny ears. They're not big at all. They stick out, but they're like small. And Joel's ears lay back like mine do, and they're long, but they got that little. She has that like that notch in them. Barkley has that notch in her ears, and the baby has those. I don't. I don't have that. My ears are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's no notch. No. No, of course she's precious, but you know. They all are to you. I already, I already warned Tom. I said, until, until you pull the diaper off and they projectile yeah. shit across the, <laughs> across the changing table. I was she, watching guys. <laughs> last night I was through, flipping through them reels and there was a video on there with them guys changing diapers and they're gagging and oh, oh, yeah. it's cracking up. It, it doesn't bother me, that, but. It doesn't bother me. I never yeah, had that problem. I never got gaggy with it. I mean, Alex had some monsters too, man. I mean, it was like it's once they get to a certain point, it's adult shit. Mm. It's not baby shit anymore. But she's a breastfed baby, so she's still in that. It's pretty calm. I mean, uh, even though it is diarrhea basically the whole time, it's still right. pretty. It's still pretty calm. It's it's the real food shit that really gets it going. The smell and the- <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I, I I fed the little man. Uh, last week he had prune. It was prune and something oh. else. Apple mixed baby food. What is it? And I said that diaper. I was like, oh my god! I said that was nasty looking. What did you say it was? Prune. Spell it. And at p r u n e. <laughs> Why? Because that's short Good. for like poo nanny. I'm like <laughs> that's that's a nickname. For... Prunes. It's... <laughs> That's a nickname for Jiner. Oh, cool. It is. Poo Nanny. <laughs> she's like, she's like mixing like, the poo and I'm like, it was, starting I that think boy it was off young. Prunes mixed with apple or, or banana. I, I can't what the fuck poo is. is. I'm going to have to look it up now because I didn't know <laughs> it was like a real food. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I said, of course you <laughs> oh, give me this God. stuff. So when I change the diaper, this is what I get. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, yeah. he's he's a bit older than her, so he's like eating hey, he'll stuff. He'll be eight months he? on the twenty-six. So I he's like eating that. things, yeah. Solid food, food. some yeah. of it, yeah. They were feeding him um, um, Chinese noodles uh, Thursday when they came down for yeah. Todd's birthday. Yeah, I was shocked. He's like hmm. eating it up. I like, oh wow. Well, yeah, they'll yeah. eat whatever you put in front of them. It's it's the reaction afterwards that you got to pay the price for sometimes. Because right. some of that shit, they're like, yeah, it's not good. Well, I said to Pat, I said, okay, I said, I, I'm certif- I was certified for CPR and stuff like that. I said, but I let it expire because I don't work anymore. I said, Pat's hardly ever home. I said, so I want that, what's that called? I think it's called Life Back. Yeah, Life Back. Did you ever see that? We have it, yeah. Oh, you have it? Mm-hmm. Is it expensive? I, I have no idea. Okay. Barkley bought it. I have no idea, but we have one. Yeah, and I said, I think I need to invest in one, and I think, I, I think I'm going to get the kids one for Christmas, you know, so they have it. But I, yeah, I have case, no idea what that, it cost. That scares, that scares the shit out of me. Of course. Barkley's one of those paranoid parents, you know. She's a first-time parent, too, so you have that. Right. And she's just a paranoid person on that with that kind of stuff anyway. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Same so. way. Because, like, I, I keep on selling. Products, I'd never so even heard of that it, thing. But... Mm-hmm. I had no idea what it was. I was, I was like, that's fucking disturbing to have a CPR kit for a baby. 
Well, it's basically, it's like kind of like a mask kind of deal, like a yeah. plastic mask. And yeah, and all it does is, uh, I guess, it, I don't know how it works, but I'm just saying, but if you pull this thing out, it sucks it I out. I have for no it idea. Out. Yeah, for choking babies and yeah. But yeah. She know, I'm sure she knows how it works. Yeah. She but reads. So I guess we should go read. back and do our CPR, uh, get certified and all that stuff. Just I, I think she had to when she was at the health department. She worked at the health department for a while. Mm -hmm. I well, she's probably up to date. I left mine expired. I think Pat left his expired too. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Can I go back? Know. You'd have to ask her. But yeah, so I know she's a notary. <laughs> she keeps that up to date. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about the CPR stuff. Are we gonna do any stuff today? It's after nine o'clock already. <clears throat> We got Heather's weather to get to, and I'm not even sure if I got the right ones. I got brain fog after being off for so long. <clears throat> well, I don't have no horoscopes because the last one I do is for the Halloween specials and stuff. Well, I didn't so know I if we wanted to do Win Bonley's Monday today or if you want to wait till Friday. We can wait till Friday. That's whatever you want to do. Because I didn't see anybody in chat. No one was sending me numbers or anything. They usually are, but we've been off for so long. They probably didn't know if we were coming back yet or not. Right, yeah. so Jeff's listening down in down in uh, Cambridge, but mm. he might be our only listener today. I'm sure, Barkley was listening upstairs too for a while until we started talking if about she, her. Uh, <laughs> she's well, like, she is. I'm gonna say hello, Barkley. How are you? She's like, fuck you guys. I'm, I'm tuning out. But we yeah, can try. Maybe... Uh, we can try Heather's weather. Hi, uh, Shar's listening from down in well, Australia. You, you, did, you did the Transylvania one. That uh, I know. Yeah. Well, I. Well, here's the problem. I didn't label. <laughs> Shame on you. They're done by dates. She sent them to me by dates, and, um, I, and I don't okay. remember it because I skipped some of them because I wanted to get the Halloween-y ones because I sent her non-Halloween-y ones Halloween. early. So I think this is a non-Halloween-y one. Okay. But that's weird. We need to do... I, need, I want to do an Australian bit, but I can't get Stevie. He's like trying to nail down... Jello to the wall. I wanted to do an Australian joke of the day. Maybe I'll have Sharbucks do it if she has time to record one for us. We can do it like on Fridays. The weekly joke from Australia. Of course, we're listening, says Barkley. <laughs> so she is listening. Hello, girl. <laughs> Her and uh, Baby J are both listening upstairs. <laughs> I must be on speakerphone. Maybe it'll feedback. But anyhow, yeah, well, uh, I'm go gonna tr I'm gonna try this Heather's weather. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's the right one or not. We'll find out. May it might be it might be a Halloween repeat one. Her ass is awake and won't go down. Uh, yeah, that figures. Tell her I'll be up. Well, she, I, I want her awake all day anyway. Well, you're gonna go on that car ride, so yeah. that's okay. She'll be thing. out. She'll be out for the car ride. She loves the car. As soon as she gets it, she'll she gets a little pissy when you strap her to the car seat. But once you put that car in reverse, she's like, Egh. I have a you, question for you because I almost sure. got this for you guys. Do you do guys this? have like the um These guys? <laughs> the two Utes. You all I can't <laughs> say that for some reason. It just sounds odd yes. to me. Do you have the uh do you have a car like you're, well, obviously, she's in the car seat. Do you have, like, a cover for it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's got a, a visor a thing that comes it. up. Yeah. No, no. No, it doesn't. No, it no, doesn't. no, no. But you can buy one. There's a cover that you can put on it, right? I'm and sure. Up, and just for, like, for like the face showing. Like, my future daughter-in-law had no clue what I was talking about until I showed her. I said, like I love it. a sleep sack type thing for the car Especially, seat? Especially, all you do, it's a cover that you stick onto on top of it. It's like elastic, and all you do is you, mm -hmm. you put like it over. Like the boy in a plastic bubble. No. <laughs> no. And then you can either zip uh, it up, and you'll have, like, a little head, like, your head show and stuff like that. It's just to cover them for, like, this kind of weather, like, it's cool or so, or if it's raining or something like that. Yeah, no, see, I'll, no, I'll see what happens is I, I rush, and I get the baby in the car seat really quick, and then I go uh -huh. to jump in the front seat to start uh -huh. the mom mobile up. Yeah. And I didn't realize that Barkley had been in at last and left the seat all the way up front. So when I got in, I jammed my neck on the on the uh, roof of the car trying to climb in there because the seat's so far forward. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll send it to you. 
to show you what I'm talking about. But my daughter said, I'm glad you said something. Because with the weather, you know, with the rain and stuff like that, you're like, oh, I got to carry a kid, you know, don't need the umbrella and all that other stuff. But. Well, she's listening. She can ask her if she has one. She'll let me know. Okay. I have no idea. Where I love that oh. thing. But yeah. All right, it's now. And now it's time for the weather with Heather. <laughs> Today, the Galapagos Islands are basking in a warm embrace with temperatures teasing around 82 degrees. I did that one already. I know for sure I did that one already. So let me see if I can find one that's not done. Do, do, do. Try this one. The October air is crisp, with temperatures <laughs> resting at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The November just air. Just cold enough to send a chill down your spine as the wind whispers through the old, twisted streets at 7 miles per hour. Expect low-hanging fog by dusk, snaking its way between more than gravestones halfway through. and under doorways, as if drawn to places where history hasn't quite let go. Clouds will blanket the sky tonight, leaving the moon struggling to peek through. A 20% chance a of drizzle means the cobbles. I said October, didn't you hear that? I, that's why I said no, November. I know, but... Above, broods under a thick blanket of dark gray clouds. I sent them out of order the to her. muted and strange. Temperatures hover around a damp 52 degrees this is with a, a breeze one. slithering through the town at 8 miles per hour, rustling paper <laughs> boats and stirring up dead leaves that seem to move with purpose. They're all There's a 60% chance of rain by late afternoon, but don't be surprised if it starts earlier. Here, the weather likes to play tricks. The showers will leave puddles shimmering under streetlights, perfect for catching reflections or something lurking just beneath the surface. By yeah, nightfall, the, the temperature will dip to a chilly 46 degrees, with mist creeping along the gutters and sewer grates, as if drawn towards something calling from below. The fog thickens near the riverbanks, mm, where it's best not to linger too long. Tomorrow, expect more of the same. Gloomy skies, restless winds, and the sense that something in Derry, Maine never really sleeps. Yep. Keep your wits about you. And if you hear laughter drifting through the mist, don't follow it. <laughs> Since we're on the Halloween kick there, I was flipping through YouTube again, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I found this. What the hell was it? The top 10. What was it? Best horror movies of. Um, what do they call that? On TV. When they're on TV only. What's that called? For made for TV. Made for TV. Yeah. Yeah. I watched a, uh, and the one the movie that I forgot about and that scared the crap out of me was it was called uh, "Don't Be Afraid of the Dark." That sounds familiar. That does sound familiar. It was this. It was the storyline is this lady, this younger woman, inherits her aunt's house, so she moves into it, and. There's a door locked that she can't find the key to. So she finds the key and there's this nice room in there. She's going to remodel it. And there's a fireplace that's bricked up. And she's like, why would she brick up a beautiful fireplace like this? So they go and they remodel and they open the fireplace. Well, there's these demons, these little demons down in the fire. <laughs> like it goes way down in. I must go to hell or whatever. Mm -hmm. And these little demons come out and... The, they they go after her. but yeah i remember that that scared the shit out of me when i was a kid <laughs> hmm. 
And I'm thinking that might be the one. Remember I told you the story about the guy standing in my closet and my sister seen somebody? Yeah. I think that might have been the movie I was watching that night. <laughs> that That'll fuck with you. I yeah. tried to find it. I couldn't find it anywhere to watch it. I was wanting to watch it. I went on Tubi and... But, yeah, I couldn't find it. Yeah, as soon as I got into Coney's house, today, he's like, do you feel anything? Do you feel anything? Do you feel anything? <laughs> I want a reading, I, I said. I in the door. <laughs> I said not. That, I said not that I can no, feel. There's no good. There's no nothing in my house. He said, "Can you feel this, please?" You didn't. You, you weren't <laughs> you listening. Hear me right. <laughs> well, he's like, "Can you do a reading?" And I was like, "That's not reading. <laughs> the reading is totally different." But I was like, "No, I did not sense anything." See, if you wanted to get into this, I know you don't want to get into the psychic business. However, there's Boy. there's untapped market. You know, everyone reads palms, and they have like the stupid crystal ball thing and all that. I don't have any cards. Of that stuff. The tarot cards, all that. I kind have of thing. that. I have the tarot cards. Well, if like if the lines in your hand can tell you so much, why couldn't the wrinkles on somebody's ball sack? You, are could, we back to this again? <laughs> are we back to this again? I just think it's an untapped uh, resource that you could really get into. <laughs> I think that's why the gloves were in the gift that you gave me. I swear to God. I'm thinking, they're, they're, <laughs> they're for reading scrotums. I think, why are there glo why are there gloves in it with this? You could, your name could be Madam, Madam Scrotus. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's so disgusting. Yeah, of course it's disgusting, but could you imagine the money you could make off of that? No. Poor Pat with his bad back could retire. No. You could uh, like one or two ball sacks a week and you guys could probably feed the family. <laughs> Pay no. The bills. Well, what about the bottom of people's feet? That's gross too, but it, there's lines on there too, right? I don't like people's feet too, so you know that. Oh, I know that. No. So that's why I suggested ball sacks because feet would be terrible for you. It happens. <laughs> Did you uh, show Corny your sign? No. Do you have it there? No, I have a picture of it. Well, I kind of do, but here, I'll show you a picture of it. <laughs> Are you in chat, Bonzo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At least Sharbox thinks I'm you uh, ma maximize your screen? I'll get rid of the share. <laughs> yeah. There it is. All lit up in pink. <laughs> Pinkish purple. Are you are you wearing the? Crypto? I am. Connor's. I told oh. Connor told him he's they're officially in the they're in the club now. I they're am. In the club. And Kira's wearing yours. To oh yeah. Day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's like, I'm wearing this one to school. I said, All right, go advertise away. <laughs> Nobody else will have it. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping Pat would open that and then you just put it in your window. Oh, you sent me that, I think. Oh, did I? Yeah, I remember that. I <laughs> thought it was pretty cool. It actually got sent to my neighbor's house and my did neighbor it? brought it over. <laughs> yeah, well. But that was the neighbor that was watching our animals, too, while we were gone, so. Man, everybody's calling me this morning. It's one of those days. Oh, it's whoa. Monday. We're going to call it early anyway because I gotta. we got to get the baby ready and we got to start heading north. Because I think my appointment is today, and I don't want to miss it again. They were pissy about me missing it the last time. I'm like, you know, my girlfriend was in labor. What the fuck you want me to do? Right. Like, the baby came at 12.15. My appointment was at 11. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I could have skipped out, even if, you know, even if they could have got it done within the hour. I'm like, you know, the baby's head's hanging half out. I'll be right back. I got to go get my hearing aid. <laughs> I want to be able to hear that head pop through. <laughs> oh boy alright we got that's yeah, close enough I was going to cut it off at 9.20 it's 9.19 we'll call it a quits I was going to talk about the weekend NFL scores and all that and uh, the Tyson fight and all that but oh my god that was terrible it was awful that, that was that was rigged it, it, was, sure. it was it was fake yeah it was big time 100% fake I don't want to use the word rigged. I just, I just, it was just it's, fake. It was fake for sure. 
Well, I heard it was in Sad. the contract. He couldn't throw any uppercuts, or and he had to go the whole distance to make his all his twenty million or whatever he made. It was all in the contract. That's rigged, then. Yeah, for sure. I wanted him to get paid and not get hurt. That's all I cared about. He got it. He got his money. Then the UFC was disappointed. Yeah, because if you watch his practice, his, I, yeah, his, I, how his much training? of that's real though? You know. How much well, of that? Because I mean, they can manipulate that to make him look like he's really moving fast. Because when he went after Jake Paul, his feet were shuffling and he kind of looked tired. And yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. It, and you know what? Fucking Netflix, man. Oh I my thought god, my it was internet terrible. Was, I thought my internet I did was too. Dying. It was crashing big time. <laughs> but then I started reading, and everyone else was saying it was happening. I was like, it's fucking Netflix. I I I couldn't even. I, I watched it on my phone because it was streaming better on my phone than it was on my TV. Well, they said that, uh, who was that? Uh, Antonio Brown, the guy that used to play for the Steelers. Yeah. He he put on an, ill an illegal live stream mm -hmm. and more people <laughs> more people watched it than the real one. Oh, <laughs> I <heard my> goodness. <laughs> it was crazy. But they had like 60 million. So, hmm. I mean, that's insane. That that many people wanted to see him get beat up, but everyone hates that guy. That Jake Paul, people just don't like. I don't him. even know who he is, but they say he's a, like a. Well, he's from Ohio. He YouTube, I know that. or was he a like a? Yes, I don't know. He was had he viral. He had a, yeah, he had a couple of YouTube videos that went viral. And now he's a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, he's well, he made forty million on that fight. Jesus. So he's he was already good. Fairly well off. He he didn't have anything to worry about already. Just what, his... what what was he? Anything or just a kid on YouTube? Or... He was just a kid on YouTube. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. I mean, he 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 was like a he was a decent athlete in Ohio. He wrestled in high school and stuff. I think. Yeah. And his brother He's wrestled. from Ohio. Yeah, oh from yeah, I did say Cleveland from that. Oh well, really? It's Cleveland. It, it's he's from the Cleveland area. I don't think he's actually in Cleveland. I think it's one of the little yeah suburbs or something. Yeah, little whitey people suburbs. But yeah, it was. I was sad. I was sad about it. It was sad. I was like, "Come on, this is bullshit." Then they got that fucking. He barely hit him that one time. That looked like it rocked him. Yeah, Tyson hit him. He did hit him. I think it was an accident. And he, I think Tyson was like, "Oh shit, I can't do that anymore." Well, I know that one time he did his signature duck, and he was getting ready to come under, and he stopped himself. Yeah, he would. He would have fucking put him out of the ring <laughs> if he'd have hit him. And they still... kept talking about him biting on his mouth guard. He was biting on his gloves. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. He's probably he holding was himself back from the... <laughs> he, could... he probably wanted to kill the guy. You know how he got in the ring. Yeah, he, he, yeah he was a fucking animal, man, back in the day. He was. You could tell he still had that look, too, when he was going down the ring. I think, uh, was... yeah, I think, well, we know Mike's not that bright. And I think that's part, you know, and that's that's what cost him. Every fight he lost was that animal in him. He just couldn't. Yeah. He couldn't box smart. Right. He had all the skills in the world, but he could never box smart. He just knocked the fuck out of people. Right. I was a fan. I'm not shitting on him. I'm still a fan. I like the guy. Just that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But he got paid. You know, after yep. Don King ripped him off for all the millions of dollars. Oh and, yeah, that's bullshit. He kind of deserves it. But. Yeah, between that and I, and I don't like. I used to love John Jones too, the MMA fighter, until he got busted for steroids. Every time he beat Daniel Cormier, he got fucking popped for steroids and made the last one a no contest. I'm like, why do you cheat? And yeah. and, and they still prop him up. Oh, I'm the, you know, uh, I just I lost the taste for that. And he du he's ducking Tom Aspinall. I know you don't know who that is, but. That guy you guys met that came down to talk to you guys from Cleveland, yeah. Steve mm -hmm. Amiocic, that's yeah. who he fought. But he's uh, 43 okay. years old. He's 43 yeah. years old. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. I was disappointed. But the Steelers won. That was cool. And I'm pretty sure Dallas lost. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're sucking this year. Oh, they're I don't even have any they're bad. Their attention. Prescott is a piece he's of out. shit. He's out for the season. But they need I'm, to yeah, you just know what? get rid of The only stat he's not good in is winning. Yeah. That's, he puts that's up it. good yards. He puts up good completion percentage. Everything is good. 
but he he's a he's not a winner. He just doesn't know how to finish games. Cannot stand that guy. Damn, Pat's Raiders lost. They've been losing. <laughs> Kansas City lost. The Bengals last lost. Oh. They had that game. They're terrible. Opening. Oh my god, I they're was fucking so- terrible. They have no excuse. They've got all the players. They have they no excuse. They had that game one, and they let them walk right down the field and score yeah. it. They're just, Jeez. It's just, they're just bad. Stayed up till midnight watching that piece of shit game. I gave up on it. I watched uh, Kansas City get beat. That made me happy. That was, yeah, that was the <laughs> best thing. <laughs> Sorry to Jen with two ends. Uh, we love you, girl, but uh, I can't stand the Chiefs. But it's just the hater in me. Yeah, the Mahomes. Yeah, whoever's on top, I just want to hate. You know, I can't. I can't control myself on that stuff, unless it's the Stillers. If the Stillers are on top. We're okay, <laughs> and they're good this year. I was. They wrong. were showing these videos on how the refs don't call any calls against KC when they did Mahomes last night out of the pocket and shuffling and <laughs> mm-hmm. well they probably had to cuz they were getting Yeah, scrapped. I think I think that's exactly what it was too. And guess what happened? They lost. They lost. <laughs> it was yeah, it was bad. But yeah. Yeah, I was wrong about this. I was shitting on Russell Wilson and the coach. I I don't like the coach. I don't like coach Tomlin. I don't like him. I don't like the way he, I don't like the way he built the team. I don't like anything about. But I was wrong about Russell Wilson. I thought he was washed up and done. And a fucking dude can still play, man. He can still play, and he's playing. I didn't good. get to see that game. Baltimore. It's always a slobber knocker. All now right, that guys. it's nine fifteen. <laughs> we can stop and so you can get on the road at nine twenty six. Yeah, nine twenty six. All right. Thank you for tuning in this morning. We do appreciate you all. We'll be back Friday morning. There's no Wednesday show anymore. We're going to do the bookends. We're going to tell you about your weekends, and then we're going to tell you about your week and your weekend to come on Friday morning. So tune in at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m., sorry, for us on Morning Bowl. We'll be back. Tonight, check out Jen. She is going to do a uh, guest spot for a little while on the uh, Music Lounge with Saltum. So they're salt them still on break. Uh, Jen's going to take over for a little bit. So tune in tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern for that. Check her out again on Wednesday for her show, Country, Calamity Jen's Country Saloon. Then we have Tuesday, we have the B-side with Steve Benz. And then again, Thursday night, we'll have me on Bonfire and Friday morning with the Morning Bull. So that's your week ahead. Thank you in advance for tuning in for all that. And we will see you Friday morning. WBAM, peace and love. Peace. Bye-bye.